You took out a full page ad in uh, major U.S. newspapers uh, last year criticizing U.S. foreign policy. What would you do differently, Donald? I'd make our allies, forgetting about the enemies, the enemies you can't talk to so easily, I'd make our allies pay their fair share. We're a debtor nation. Something's going to happen over the next number of years with this country because you can't keep going on losing $200 billion, and yet we, we let Japan come in and dump everything right into our markets and everything. It's not free trade. If you ever go to Japan right now and try to sell something, forget about it, Oprah. Just forget about it. It's almost impossible. They don't have laws against it. They just make it impossible. They come over here. They sell their cars, their VCRs. They knock the hell out of our companies. And, hey, I have tremendous respect for the Japanese people. I mean, you can respect somebody that's beating the hell out of you, but they are beating the hell out of this country. Kuwait, they live like kings. The poorest person in Kuwait, they live like kings. And yet they're not paying. We make it possible for them to sell their oil. Why aren't they paying us 25% of what they're making? It's a joke. This, this sounds like political presidential talk to me. And I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not. But I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. would you not? I just don't think. I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. And, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been, believe me. I can't help to laugh because it always I'm always here. I never left. So here you go. Smoking's no good for you. <laughs> okay, uh, I made it through the new year. It's another year, man. I think I can hang on one more year. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. You start thinking, wow, is this is this it? 2016, that's the last time I'm going to see anything. But, you know, I don't really care, man. I, 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 my goose is cooked anyway. Okay, later. Hey, good morning, gangsters. Yes, to my gangster family. Okay, so here's Thursday. We got to go to the store. My wife needs a salad for her boss. <laughs> My wife makes this Greek salad. My wife's Greek, you know what I'm saying? So uh, she makes this Greek salad that's like to die for. My wife is cooking, that's why I'm so fat. Uh, you know, uh, her cooking is so good that you just, uh, you know, so any, everybody's always asking her for recipes. Can you make this? Can you make it that? You know, Greek, 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 Greek. So she, I'm Puerto Rican, so she likes to make that Greek or Rican shit, you know? So she infuses the Greek with the Puerto Rican, and she comes up with her own concoction. But her boss is Puerto Rican, and, you know, the director, my wife is uh, her uh, assistant. And so uh, she asks her, uh, Can you make me a Greek salad? Because I don't know how to make it. So my wife, you know, being the good hearted that she is, she's going to make her salad. So I got to go pick up the ingredients and a couple other things that we're going to have for dinner tonight. I forgot. So, here we go. Hey, what's up, my friends, my gangsters? Here it is, here it is, here it is. What is it? What is this? What is this? Friday! TGIF, I almost forgot. Today is Friday! Ah. Hey, I heard from an old buddy of mine. Ho, bro! You know, ho, bro! 
Yeah, hope bro, hope bro, the director of the Natural Born Pranksters. He's the uh, one of the directors on the uh, movie Natural Born Pranksters. He's back. He's in. Uh, he was in Thailand for the New Year's with his wife and kids. Yeah, Natural Born Pranksters with At Atwood, you know Roman Atwood. With Dennis Rohde and with uh, Vitaly. Uh, the movie's coming out soon. Uh, you guys go to the theaters and watch it because it's coming under, I think Lionsgate's putting it out. Yeah, Lionsgate. And um, <clears throat> yeah, Hope Bro uh, got in contact with me, my boy, Jude. Uh, he's a good guy, man. Shout out to Jude, Hope Bro! Go to his channel and check him out. Check him out. He got some good stuff there. Anyway, uh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful, 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 beautiful day. And uh, tomorrow's going to rain. And my car needs it because, look. See the windows? Look at the car. I don't know if you can see it. It got pigeon shit all over it. <laughs> that must be good luck, man. Maybe I should play play the Powerball. Seven million dollars. Seven million dollars of Powerball in New York City. Yeah, I think it's New York. I think it's cross country. I forget how this place. Seven hundred million dollars. I'm sorry. Seven hundred million dollars. You know what I could do with seven hundred? You don't get the seven hundred million dollars. I mean, after taxes, you only get four hundred eighty-four million dollars. But still, that's a lot of chunk change, man. You know, I give my wife two hundred million dollars, let her spend it the way she wants, and I'm out of here. I'm moving to Florida. She wants to come, to more power to her. She don't. It's cocaine and prostitutes all over the place. I become Charlie Charlie Sheen. <laughs> no, no, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> no drugs for me no more. I'm drugged out. Yeah, I tried smoking a joint the other day. You know, just I took a couple of puffs. Because they they tell me that uh, oh, it's good for you know your pain and and your knees and all that stuff and you know. So I, I tried a little bit, just a couple of puffs. Uh, it, it weirded me out, man. It, it, you know, I used to be such a pothead. I used to take acid. I, I, I did a lot of stuff in my days when I was young. Trust me. No, don't go out there and experiment because of me. Okay, I'm not condoning that. I, I was stupid. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I did a couple of hits on them. You know... It's the worst, the worst, man. Never again. It did help my pain, but it's just like weirded my head out, man. Uh, I just don't know, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just too used to being straight. I like the straight life, you know? It's just like, I don't know why people, I don't even drink. I don't know why people get high, you know? I, I hate that head that it gives you, you know? It was my thing back in the day, but I just, I don't know what, what happened. I guess as you get older. Yeah, but anyway. Don't do, don't do drugs. Just like don't smoke. Smoking's no good for you. Drugs are no good for you. I don't condone drugs. You know, not for me. You want to do them, go ahead, have fun. You know, but I'm not condoning it. I'm not telling you to go out there and do it. Anyway, again, back to uh, today is Friday. Joe put up a blog for me, one. He apologized. He wasn't feeling too good. Something to do with his medication, man. That's spooky, man. Be careful your medication. That's another thing. I told you, drugs are no good. Be careful your medication because you can overdose yourself. You know, he was feeling like really fucked up. That's why you don't you didn't see him in the vlogs. But uh, he's doing better. He's doing better. He's coming back to life. He's coming, coming, little old fat Joey is coming back to life. He's not even fat. I just said that. But I've never seen him fat. I'm fat. You know. But Joe, Joe thinks he's fat, but I don't think he's fat. Stop eating McDonald's, motherfucker! <laughs> Him and Mickey D's. He hasn't been to Mickey D's in a while. Yeah, I can tell because otherwise he'd be vlogging from there. 
Come on, dog, go to Mickey D's. Let's see the cup of coffee and the burger and shit that you get the dog. Because <laughs> this vlog is going up tomorrow, so I gotta finish it out. It's gonna be a short vlog, but, you know, it's gonna be a vlog. Anyway, the wifey took a salad to work for her boss. Uh, yesterday she made a Greek salad. I told you, I bought all that stuff, you know, so she could make Greek salad. She finally made it. She, she took it to work. Beautiful Greek salad. My wife is, I tell you, man, my wife is gifted. Her hands are gifted. I'm so glad I'm married to her. Because she keeps my belly full and my heart, well, she keeps my belly full. <laughs> <laughs> oh God I love my wife I do I really do I don't know what I'd do without her because she gets she she thinks when I'm 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 second thinking when I'm second you know you have that second thought about stuff she already she, you know just her saying. Uh, you know, give me that uh, on the shoulder, you know, push. I know it's okay. Yeah. I'm going to miss her when I'm gone. Uh, or when she's gone. Whatever. But getting back to uh, reality over here. Oop. Almost got out of the shot. You see, you see the upper? You see this, sir? That's how I get myself light in the car. Because if I, if I close it, these windows are so tinted, so black, that like people don't even see me in the car just by closing the top of this. So I leave it open so the cops, you know, in case they roll by me, if they see the light, they see me inside. If I close it, these guys, see, look at this real quick. These guys. He's got his pants down to his, he's got his pants down in his ass. I don't understand how they do that. You know, that style's out, brother. Style's out. Especially you're a white guy. You're a white guy, man. That don't go for you. You know, that means bitch in jail. You're somebody's bitch. I don't know why people wear that shit. You know, they don't understand that. When they wear their pants down below their waist, you're somebody's bitch in jail. I don't know what... Ridiculous. Anyway, so uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Powerball. Let's get back to the Powerball, man. If I win that money, I got plans for that money. I'm going to make myself real comfortable. No, I give some away, man. I give some away to you guys out there in uh, YouTube land. To my gangsters. <coughs> <coughs> Who's ever my gangster as of today. My 200 and... 28 now. I dropped one. I don't know why. But my 228 gangsters, I promise you, I promise you, each one of you will get a minimum of $10,000 if I win. I promise. Each one of my gangsters that subscribe to me today, today, will get $10,000. And I have 200 and 28, 228 subs, you know, or gangsters. I have 228 gangsters on my list. And you will get $10,000 if I win. And this is today, January 8th, is it 8th? As of January, 228 people, $10,000 each, if I win tomorrow. Uh, and uh, some of them, you know, I'd take care of my family and other stuff like that, you know. Buy myself a new car, a luxury car that's not a gas guzzler because you gotta, you, you gotta buy good, but you gotta buy, you know, you gotta buy something economically. You know, it's gonna, you know, not waste you some gas there because environment, you know what I'm saying? Environment. Now nah, you gotta get no hybrid. That's bullshit. What's it gonna do for me? Take me 50 miles and then I gotta put gas in it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's think reality here. Yeah. You know that or a chauffeur? I have a chauffeur. 
couple of years, ten years, I can have a chauffeur. I give him uh, uh, fifty a grand, fifty thousand a year. Yeah, I have a chauffeur, ten years. And uh, what else? I definitely get me a recording studio. You know, but just for people who want to record. I'm not gonna put records out of it. People who want to record. There's a lot of people who want to record just to have. You know what I'm saying? definitely learn that shit. I'd love to, you know, be in a recording studio, have my own recording. Well, that or my own club. You know, my own bar, you know, club, whatever. And that's it. Anyway, so it's uh, 901. I dropped off the whiffy. I told you about the salad and all that shit. I'm just gonna make this uh, quickie vlog because I talk a lot of shit. It's like a, a it's like a a podcast without the pod, you know, it's a live podcast, it's a video podcast, it's a VP, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. I got no rants today, I got no rants, no rants, no rants, I'm being a good guy, I don't care, nothing bothers me today, you know, I'm just gonna go in and watch some TV, and I'm gonna upload this vlog tonight, I'm just waiting for Joe to send me some shit, and then, uh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'll end it later. How's that? But just in case... No, I'll end it later. <laughs> All right, guys. So I thought I was going to vlog more, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. My sinus has been bothering me. I took a, how to take a chill pill for the sinus. And... Uh, that's it. I put my green screen up. I'm going to start using that soon. I cleaned up the room you see behind me. All the boxes, everything back there. Yep. So I'm just waiting for the Wiffy to get home. She's out shopping. Picking up a few things and uh, we'll have dinner and I'm just going to, I don't know, go to sleep or something because I'll lay down because I'm not feeling well. I hate this type of weather, man. Cold, hot, cold, hot. It messes with my sinuses. All right, anyway, listen. Jordan, uh, he just put up that little clip, you know. He's not, still not feeling 100%. He had to go to the doctor and shit today. But anyway, listen. Nobody's feeling 100%. <laughs> but again, you know, appreciate you guys, my gangsters out there. And uh, I guess uh, I'll be seeing you uh, Monday, Tuesday or something like that, you know. Maybe things will be better next week. Sorry for this shitty vlog, but it is what it is. It ain't going to get any better. <laughs> anyway, from Joe and I, ciao for now!